Hey guys, I wanted to make a short video uh, about the Pearl Flexi. And this is the fifth generation. And it's about a workaround that I figured out as I was trying to uh, think about the, uh, the blade gap uh, inconsistencies. And they're very small. In matter of fact, some people may not even notice any inconsistencies at all. Uh, and so it, uh, it may not apply to a ton of people. And, uh, and the fifth generation run, of course, wasn't super huge. But in case you're having blade gap uh, inconsistency problems with your Pearl Flexi, give this a shot, even if it's not the fifth generation, and maybe this can help you out. All right. Uh, the problem was that um, with the Pearl Flexi here, it's all stainless steel, as, as you probably know. And it's then coated with some different layers of, of cool coatings to just continue to make it awesome, right? And, uh, and so it promises to be a nice lifelong razor. And so, of course, we want it to work well. Now, my fifth generation, I, I would put the blade in. In kind of the, the normal way you might expect. Okay, I'd make my adjustment, and then I would I would kind of look at it, and I could it seemed like I could see an issue, and I interacted with a fellow friend of mine who actually had the same generation razor, and uh, oh, just to to tell you, um, I I contacted Pearl and wonderful customer service from them to get a replacement out that sort of thing, but before I sent this one back to them, as I promised them I would do. I wanted to just uh, show it in some shaves and to mainly make this workaround video that's going to help anybody else who maybe didn't want to take the time to uh, to send theirs back to Pearl. Because after all, and I, I would feel this way too, knowing this workaround, it's not a big deal. And so it would easily make this a wonderful razor uh, for the, you know, for the rest of my foreseeable future. <laughs> and so... Um, and, and so here's what would happen. I'd, I'd load it like I showed you. And then as I would look at it, it would look like the gap's a little bit different. And I did take a feeler gauge. And in some cases, on even on one side, it was a different gap than the other end of the blade. And then on the other side over here, it was a different gap than generally on this side. And so there are some inconsistency problems. And then I'd try another blade and it would be totally fine. Everything would be consistent. And, uh, and so I, I was trying to figure out what it could be. Well, what I think it might be doing is, uh, is that it's, it's not a consistent, like a base plate issue, at least in the case of my razor. Uh, but what it is that when, you, when I clamped down the top cap into everything, it wasn't kind of auto-centering on the bottom part here. And so if it happened to land in a slightly off-center or a skew way, even if it was just by a tiny amount, then that could affect the gap that you're going to experience. Now, I've read a few people who said, even if it does affect the gap, I still get a great shave. And so I'm fine with that. And so you might be one of those people too, and that's okay. But if you're curious about, and this has given me really consistent results, um, if you're curious about maybe trying to, um, to uh, use the workaround and see if you do get consistent results, here it is, all right? So you put the blade on there, it doesn't really matter how it gets on there, um, but when it's loose, and right now you can see by the gap here that it is loose, what I do is I just kind of wiggle it. The way you're looking at it, it would be left and right. Just kind of wiggle it and then hold it down and that wiggling and the pressing down will kind of be the centering act. And then take your, while you're still holding, while you still got that tension on it, tighten it up, lock it down, and then you will have centered it effectively. And, and, and as I look at it now, I just really can't see any differences in the, in the gap at all. Um, and so that's, it's very simple and it just takes a little second. Um, but it, it means that sometimes if you just throw the blade in there, you put it together, you screw it down without thinking too much, then it might not be aligned exactly right. And because they have made the end of the razor come over the, cat, the uh, blade tabs, you can't really adjust it on the fly. 
Uh, and so, but wiggling the top cap as, and then centering it and holding it, just wiggling it and then holding it down tight while you tighten the knob, while you lock it down, seems to be the fix for me. A little simple workaround um, and easy to do. And it, uh, it makes, it turns the uh, fifth generation into a razor that I don't really see any flaws with at all. Now they sent me the seventh generation um, because they're customer service and they wanted to just stay above board. And, uh, and I also thought, well, you know what, in a way I don't really need to send this back because knowing this workaround, I'll be happy with this for years and years. Right. But I wanted to do for pearl shaving is because I have a channel here and I have a little bit of a public voice. And if they were going to be able to send me one where I'd never have to talk about that workaround, then the better for them right? The better, uh, the better word for their company and that sort of thing. And so in order to keep things sane for me and so that I don't get a mix up, I've kept the seventh generation in its box and I haven't used it yet. So this is the fifth generation. And, uh, and so there we go. Uh, and so I let, went ahead and let them send me the uh, seventh generation and we'll be using that in the next few weeks. But this is my little workaround video. If you do have a fifth generation, this is an easy and quick way to make sure that the blade's centered. And so far, all the blades I've tried with it, it works great. Hope it helps you guys. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Take care.